we have learned about generic types in great detail. We learned how to create a generic method and a generic class and how to use it in our TypeScript program. Now, before we proceed further, let's also try to understand the difference between a generic type and union type because this might be a little bit confusing for beginners. Many of you might think that instead of creating a generic class or generic method, we can simply use union type. So in this lecture, we will try to understand why we need generic type and why we cannot use unions in some cases where generic types are required and that we will try to understand with an example. So let's go to VS Code and here in the previous lecture, we created this shopping cart class, which is of generic type. In that class, we have this items array, which is going to store an item of type T. So this T can be string, number, boolean or some complex type. Okay, then we also have this add items method using which we can add a new item to this items array because this items array it is private. It cannot be accessed outside of this class. So in order to add items to this items array, we are exposing a public method here which can be accessed on the instance of this shopping cart class from outside of the class. And then in order to fetch all the items from this items array, we also have this get items method. All right, now what we are doing here is we are creating an instance of this shopping cart class and when we are creating the instance, we are also specifying the type for this T. Currently, it is string. So this simply means that when an instance of this shopping cart will be created, this T will be string. That means this items array will be an array of strings and this item parameter, it will be of type string. Using this add item method, we will only be able to add items of type string to this items array. So using generics, TypeScript enforces this type. This is one advantage. Right, here I cannot go ahead and use this str cart instance to insert a numeric value using this add item method. I cannot do this. Right, here it is giving us an error because this t currently it is string because when we have created an instance of the shopping cart class, we have specified that this t should be string. Okay, so using this str cart instance, we can only insert string values to this items array using this add item method. When I'm trying to insert a numeric value, I'm getting an error. Now, if I remove generics from here, so if I remove this type from here, okay, now TypeScript does not know about this T. So what I will do is I'll specify the type as string here. Okay. And so this item should be an array of string and this T here, this item, which we are going to pass to this add item method, that should also be string. All right, so now also, now I can remove this type from here and the behavior will be same. I'm still not able to add any numeric value to this shopping cart class, right? So here also the behavior is same. Now let me bring back the generic type, okay? Now what I want is I also want to use this shopping cart class for numeric values so that in this items array, I can also insert numeric values or any other type. Okay, so I'll remove it from here and now I'll copy these four lines. I'll create a new instance of this shopping cart. I'll call it as numcart and here the type will be number. And when I'm specifying the type as number, now I should not be able to insert string values to this numcart. So I'll change the instance names here. So now it should be numcart and numcart. And here I want to log numcart.getItems. So you see, now when I'm creating an instance of shopping cart where I'm specifying the type as number, there, since this T is going to be number in this items, I can only store numeric value because this items is going to be an array of numbers for this numcart instance. So I need to insert numeric values here, maybe 200 and 300. Okay, so now we are using this shopping cart class this generic class to create an instance where these items can store a string array or it can also store a numeric array. When we are creating an instance and setting the type as string, we are creating a string array. And when we are creating an instance of the shopping cart where we are setting the type as number, we are able to string number arrays. Now, instead of generics, if I try to use union, 
so again i'll go ahead and i will remove this generic type from here and here i'll specify the type t as string array or array of numbers okay and here also i'll specify the t as string or number okay now here you will see that we have an error and the problem here is this items it can be either an array of string or it can be an array of number and when we are specifying the type of this item as string or number that means for this item we can either receive a string value or number value that means to this items array we can push both string values and number values in that case this items will not be an array of only string or an array of only numbers let me actually show you that so here let's also remove this type because that is no more required and now in this str cart let me try to insert a value of type number maybe 100 and this will allow us why because when we are calling this add item for this item parameter we are passing a numeric value and that it will allow why because this item can be a string value or a number value right and here we are passing a numeric value so this item can store a numeric value and that we are trying to push to this items array so initially it will have hello and world these two string values and now we are trying to insert a numeric value and that's why we don't have any error for this item parameter because this item can take a value of string type or number type but we are saying that this items should be an array of either only string or it should be an array of either only numbers it cannot be an array of both string or number right and that's why we have this error okay so the problem here is with this union type because here we are telling that for this item we are ready to receive a value of string type or number type right and this is where the union type is different from generic type when we use generic type we tell the type during the runtime and the data type of the variables or the parameters should be that type there there is no concept of either or like we have in union type here we are saying that this items it should be an array of either string or it should be an array of either number and when we are passing the value for this item parameter we are telling that this item parameter can receive a value of string type or number type and because of this we are having this problem but if i go back to generic type here instead of specifying union type let me specify the type as array of t and here also let me specify the type as t so during the runtime we are going to specify the type for this t and this t will be only of that type it is not going to change there is no concept of either or okay and now you will see that we don't have any error in the class but now when i'm trying to pass a numeric value here actually we are not getting any error here that's because here we need to specify the type we have not specified any type so it will be by default any but as soon as i say it, the type should be string you see at this line we are getting an error where we are trying to pass a numeric value all right in the same way here also when we are creating an instance of shopping cart we can specify the type by default it will be any but let me go ahead and let me specify the type as number okay so at the runtime the data type of this t will be calculated and only that type will be used for that particular instance all right so the purpose of generics is that you write the code once and adapt it to different data types by specifying the type during the usage and generic ensures type safety throughout the code catching potential errors at compile time but the union type represents a value that can be one of several specific types they combine multiple types using the pipe symbol we have already seen that and the purpose of union type is to handle multiple data types union types allows you to define a variable that can hold different types of values accepted in a particular scenario and with union type you might need to perform runtime checks using type of or conditional statement or using some other type guard to determine the actual type at runtime okay
and it is very important to understand the difference between generics and union type and this is also a very good interview question for you so with this i hope now you understand when to use generics and when to use union type and what is the difference between them if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day